Hello my beautiful beardy friends, let's talk about DIY beard balm with coconut oil and shea butter. Winning. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. I talk about everything beard growth, maintenance, trimming, everything. And I wanna share what I've learned about growing a beard with you. So please subscribe. Okay, so let's talk about the ingredients that you need before we get started. And then we'll jump into the kitchen. I'll show you how I do something a little bit different to what you've seen on YouTube. So the first thing is beeswax. Now, I've actually already made the uh, beard balm because I'm doing this in a different order. Damn, rookie error but I source my beeswax from a friend who has a hive. I know it's super hipster, but you can buy beeswax pellets online. Now, what the wax does is it provides hold. Um, without the hold, you know, your beard doesn't sit as well. Um, it adds a little bit of a shine and a texture to it. So uh, the beeswax is probably the most important thing. And importantly, you can vary the ratios. Today, I'm gonna show you a 50-50 ratio mix with beeswax and shea butter. But if you want a, a, a sort of longer, stronger hold, for example, for mustache wax, and you can increase the amount of wax in there. All right, the second thing is shea butter. Shea butter, now, when I first made beard balm, I didn't use shea butter. The butters are so very important because it makes the balm soft, malleable, and melt in your hands. If you only use wax like I did, I completely effed it up, and uh, it just didn't melt, and it didn't sort of uh, it wasn't scoopable out from the pot. So butters are very important. I use about a 50-50 by weight mix, um, and that's because I like it to be a little bit softer than waxy, um, and shea butter is fantastic. Um, I ordered this from eBay, I think, the Skin Center, uh, the Skin Science Company, there we are. Uh, I'm sure wherever you get yours will be absolutely fine. Um, I got it on eBay. Shea butter and wax are the two biggest components of your balm, so don't skimp out on either of them. Got it? The next thing is to include oils. Oils like jojoba, argan, sweet, uh, almond oil, coconut oil, they all do the same thing. They all add a different kind of dynamic to your beard balm. I like to use jojoba oil. Jo jojoba oil is uh, really great for skin and also a little bit for your beard. So the beard uh, isn't really able to absorb jojoba oil. So really, uh, you should include like an argan oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil as well. Don't just use jojoba because uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't really get absorbed very well by the, by the hair, but it loves being absorbed into the skin. Okay, so jojoba oil and mix it up argan or coconut oil. Coconut oil is fantastic. Um, now the thing is, is that yeah, it's solid, right? So you do have to heat it up. And also I found that uh, my balm becomes a little bit grainy when this uh, gets cold. So don't worry if yours gets a little bit grainy after your beard balm has got a little bit cold. It doesn't matter. It, as soon as you warm it up in your palm of your hands, it's absolutely fine. So um, yeah, virgin coconut oil, that's what you wanna use, uh, or a mixture of everything else. The last thing you'll need is essential oils. Essential oils are essentially, <laughs> essentially a way of uh, making it smell nice, but also they add their own little kind of properties. Now, go check out my blog post, I'll link it below, of all of the different properties that carrier oils, that essential oils have. Um, but yes, I have trialed a few and I've hated some and loved others. So I prefer citrusy, peppermint, like kind of the fresh, nice, um, awakening essential oils. I've also tried tea tree oil, but I smell far too much like a hippie. And peppermint is my favorite, but I have also tried eucalyptus, because I was like, yeah, I'm in Australia. Eucalyptus is great, but the problem is you send, end up smelling like, like a cleaning equipment. So those are all of the ingredients. There's not much. Uh, you really do need everything though. You can probably get away without any essential oils if you want a neutral uh, beard balm, but everything else is abs absolutely vital and adds the right kind of texture, consistency, uh, melt ability. Uh, uh, yeah, that all comes together with the ingredients I've just showed you. So please don't skimp out on any of them. All right, let's head over to the kitchen and 
make the beard balm. It's surprisingly simple. And also, like I said, I've got a little tiny trick that um, not everyone does on YouTube, but I think is super important, especially if it's your first time making beard balm. All right, let's go. So the great thing about this beard balm is that it's so incredibly simple. Um, you just mix the ingredients so they're homogenous or they're mixed really well and you pour them into the tins or your containers or whatever you're using. Um, and so yes, the only things we need are a glass uh, Pyrex microwavable safe bowl and a pot. Now, I do this a little bit different to some other people, and that's for a couple of reasons. What I do is I put water in here, boil it, and put this in it, like I was melting chocolate or something like that. The reason I do that is two reasons. The first of all, you don't wanna ruin a good pan. And secondly, if you uh, go to higher temperature when you're mixing this together, you can actually burn the oils. What this does is make sure that you definitely do not burn the oils um, and you keep everything at a kind of safe temperature, especially when you're adding like the essential oils, which can evaporate off very quickly. Doing this means that so you've got much more control over the temperature that you're mixing things. Okay, so let's go do those things. Okay, first of all, water. Water. And you sit the pan in the water. Very, very simple. Um, okay, now just turn on the heat and make sure that the water is kind of boiling. So the first thing I'm gonna melt are these two little wax ducks that uh, my friend Amanda gave me from her beehives. If you don't have wax ducks or a friend with a beehive, you can order beeswax online or just buy it in a shop. It doesn't really matter. This just makes me feel extra hipster. Okay, I've just weighed these. It's 14 grams of wax. That's what we're gonna melt. 14 grams of wax means that I'm gonna use 14 grams of shea butter. I like to do about a 50-50 ratio. I see other people use a little bit less shea butter or whatever butter, cocoa butter that you're using. Um, I like my beard balm to be a little bit more sort of buttery than waxy, just because I don't need the strong hold. Uh, my beard sort of falls into a nice shape. So yeah, play about with those ratios for you. But for me, the perfect one is 50% wax, 50% shea butter. So while the ducks are melting, I'm gonna weigh out 14 grams of shea butter into a bowl. Okay, 14 grams of shea butter. Okay, so the ducks have almost completely melted, uh, which is great. And so now I'm gonna add the shea butter. The reason I let the wax sort of dissolve completely is because it's kind of the hardest thing to dissolve, so, or to melt. So let that melt completely um, and then add the shea butter. Okay, like I said, about a 50-50 mix of shea butter to, um, to wax. And then I just, once again, let that melt. Easy peasy. Just like everything to do with beards, you have to be patient. Don't rush this, don't burn the ingredients and you'll be good to go. Okay, it looks like the beeswax and the shea butter has completely melted and mixed up, which is great. So now we have to add um, other sort of carrier oils. So I like to use jojoba because it's my favorite one. It's the closest one to skin, but it's not absorbed really well by the hair. So I go uh, light on this. If you wanna go for something that's absorbed really well by hair, go for uh, argan oil um, or sweet almond oil. Those are the best by far, but I like to put a little bit of this in for skin conditioning and then some coconut oil. Coconut oil is fantastic for your beard. Um, and so I put about a teaspoon of each in both. Now don't go too heavy, the more of this you put in, the kind of less uh, consistency your beard balm will have. So just under a teaspoon of each. Coconut oil. Jojoba. Mix it up. Easy peasy. 
So while it's doing the last little bits of melting, I want to talk about essential oils. Now I've got a couple, they're not labeled, but one is tea tree. No, sorry, one is eucalyptus and the other one is peppermint. So I think that's eucalyptus and this is peppermint. So I like uh, citrus, peppermint, vanilla type stuff. I used to use this, but then I, I realized which was the eucalyptus oil, which, but essentially I just smelled like cleaning products, which was gross. So what I recommend is that you use essential oils very sparingly, like probably about five to 10 drops in something like this, probably closer to five if I'm honest. And the second thing is you gotta make sure you choose a smell that you like because you'll be smelling this nearly every day, every morning, whenever you use it. Um, so yes, make sure you do. I didn't like the eucalyptus or tea tree particularly, so I went with peppermint, um, which I really like. So yeah, do what you want. Add five drops. Now I've turned off the heat. The hot water will keep it uh, completely sort of molten while I prepare the containers. And the last step is to get your containers, make sure the lids are off, and pour them in. Okay, so we've got the two pocket size ones that I really liked to take for traveling. And I think that's all we'll be able to fit in, which is great. All right then, so now we just have to wait for this to cool and then we will have the perfect uh, beard balm to use every day. Super cheap, super effective, really actually fun to make. So there we have it, that's how you make your beard balm. Let's check in on it after it's cooled down. Here it is. This is the beard balm, DIY beard balm. Um, so it's nice and cooled down. It's got a, a nice sort of yellow color to it, which is fantastic. So one thing I would say is that this recipe results in quite a hard balm. Now, if you don't want it this harm, just increase the amount of shea butter and decrease the amount of uh, beeswax. But um, like I said, I, uh, I quite like this ratio, 50-50. Now, I know it's hard because when I push into it, it takes a little bit of force to get right into it. Ah, but once it's first kind of broken, then it's super easy. I don't know, for some reason, the surface tension just keeps it like really hard to break into. But once you're in, uh, you can quite easily kind of scrape away what you need. Take an amount from your finger like this, rub it into your hands and you can see it melts nicely. Um, and then you put it on your beard. Let me know in the comments. Did it work with you? Was it too hard? Do you want it softer? Increase the amount of shea butter? This is what I like, because I'm in Australia, remember? And so uh, it can get really bloody warm. And so I need something that uh, isn't gonna immediately melt. Uh, but if you're in a colder climate, you may want to increase the amount of shea butter. All right, easy done. There we are, I'll see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you soon.